Yo, this is documentation, man. It's 3-7, 2022. That's the main reason why I'm doing these these videos. Uh, some guy from LA Fitness right down the street followed me. For some reason, they were... Be careful. Alright, people are trying to pull information out of you in random areas. But some people, right... I know that are not going to be a threat to me. At least I hope not. Um, I'm having them know just certain information. I'm putting a filter on the. That's what you should do, man. Is like like another guy said that I follow. Great thing. I won't name who unless they uh, eventually say, "Yeah, that's cool. You can do that." But out of respect, man. Uh, but they said. Um, just you know, dilute it down sometimes. Um, you know, don't don't share what you're doing with anybody. Don't openly talk about your business. Uh, just don't talk about really anything. Just talk about only basic level normal stuff. And really, they'll act normal to your face. Yeah, that's what they. That's what a lot of people do. A lot of good people, too. Then this is a good, great part. The good people are not not even close to being a problem. There's a lot of good people out there. The problem is when they they seem very good. They 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 might even mean well at first, and then they turn on you, or they mean well. They they meant bad against you the whole time, and they seem like you. The uh, vice versa is what I'm saying. My opinion, you just met someone. You you don't know who they are. Yeah, yeah, here's my phone number. Well, now they're doing... And then and then you don't know. It could go a few ways. Then they get contacted. Then they're doing, you know, surveillance on you. Or um, they didn't plan on it. They liked you. And then after four, just three or four years randomly... Obviously, without you being notified, just knowing, noticing that they're start, they're you know people are acting weird and strange, then you would know, or just pretty easy to tell, man. I mean, the indicators are there. The identify the way to identify it. That's how I de identify it, man. And then another way would be just they're good people and they don't mean anything any any harm and you don't mean any harm you know or to be offensive or anything I, I can't I really look back and I'm thinking any other reason why um, I, I saw I did see a video because I've looked up videos not just from TIs about this topic on YouTube another not any other platforms uh, some but I, I looked up some videos about about this and it said uh you're and these are all old videos so who knows if they're still relevant probably not but maybe in some areas for some certain people i don't know but it said that they're trying to prevent you from committing another crime well that's not true and they said they had they made it look like a lecture like some like lady that was like act like you know she's an expert on the topic probably was a former fed or something or who knows cop was crooked misleading was talking about the topic and I knew it wasn't true because I've been set up on crimes that I haven't committed so like I've actually gone to jail for things that I have not done okay they just got I, I lipped off to one of them which I was stupid when I was like 25 24 one of the police officers and uh, I learned that you, you don't do that but I did it also in the stress center because it got to the point where um, two times ago at the stress center, and I've been almost 10 to 12 different times, um, and they're for reasons that are not um, credible. Or they're, not, they're not for reasons that are actual reasons to put that in any individual in that situation. I mean, for pursuing your education or pursuing... Um, Topics seems like that whenever I don't know how you guys are, but it seems like whenever the target or whoever gets, starts to gain momentum, 
They don't care so much. They care a lot less when you're down. But when you're up, right? They know you're on the rise. They know you're on the come up. Or they're leaving you alone. They'll try to come shattering down on you. And they'll just say, well, you know, they like to bring up old, old, saying, old stuff. Like, when it rains, it pours. Like, this is... No, man. And then I've noticed... People use similar names uh, that they're talking to. I know this one guy that's talking to this other guy from New York that I'm like, that seems kind of staged. Like, it seems kind of orchestrated. I might be wrong. I don't have anything. I don't even know the person. So, um, a lot of companies, a lot of, e I get a lot of email. I used to get emails um, that I think I know for a fact I'm still getting emails that are being blocked. Um, I unlocked my email capability to summarize that just to not put out too much info, but I did. And uh, for some reason, I can sign out of some of my other accounts, but I can't sign out of Cash App. I was able to, and it took like two verifications, three verifications. So now they're just doing it differently. Because they know they've got me completely isolated in this room. Kind of feel it feels a lot like um, lately I'm being institutionalized, even though I'm not even in jail. That's that's really how they want you to feel. For some of you, like if they've got you on like a moped, like they had me on a moped, then somebody ruined man. There was blood. I mean, smeared all over. Not it's like all over, just by on the right hand side of the, the bar, and I went in to Einstein Bagels by the Wyndham in Calston, uh, Calston um, Hotel. I've been in and out of there, and that's when a lot of bad stuff happened. Well, I got laid over there, but um, that's when I was still being hacked. Um, or, uh, you know, and you, you can't let people know. It doesn't matter. If the wrong people don't know your phone number, they'll get it. Here's what I noticed. They put me into a situation recently. I was going, I'll, I'll go back to where I was, what I was talking about. But, um, just notice, man, uh, when they, when they do it covertly is more like, you know, nonchalant oh you're you know you're paranoid or they then they try to try to like pretend like you know nothing happened but the account issues things man is subsided i'm still blocked out of a couple gmail accounts um they've blocked but not only that there's serious information in there um i'm having on a lot of my bills and debts and being overcharged so on my Verizon bill, I've been overcharged. I'm getting to the bottom of that. I've got all these uh, things here. I should not still be getting mail from Verizon um, unless they're saying that I, you know, I owe them money, but I don't owe them as much as they're saying that I owe them. So I don't know if someone, some, I don't see how someone could have externally, they could have probably overcharged my account. And this has been happening for years where I've been getting overcharged. Uh, recurring purchases. Then I go into one account today. The guy says the account's still, still legal, um, or it's still not legal, but it's still active. I'm like, I haven't made a payment. He said, Well, you know, the monthly payments. Are, you know, it's I know what it is, man. Every month, I already know what these payments are, man. It's easy to memorize that kind of shit. So, but now they've got me completely, or you know, isolated. And just to feel normal, man, just to hear like other people, like I, that's what I do is I get on the camera, listen to music. Um, it, it's making life for, for you very abnormal to have no friends. Okay. That is not normal. It, it is not normal. And then I have one last friend after the last friend that I cut off that I know this guy's a good guy. And right when I said something, I was just, um, referring to what this guy said about some like militia something. I was like, I, and I just like barely, barely whispered it when I was eating at a diner. And then these two guys come, come in that are both Jewish that uh, were talking to me about, um, and I'm not against them. I just noticed these, these things, man, these, these 
inconsistencies and they come in and say, you know, how are you holding up? Oh, you know, how, how are you doing? And it's like, you, you, I mean, it, it it's, it's kind of like if they may since some people may sincerely not know how you're doing, but they know that you are, um, struggling I think a lot of them have to know um, because the synchronicity and stuff of, of people just randomly popping in then they live nearby then it kind of kind of they play it off so they play the cards but they act I mean they do act nice and it was a nice experience but I received one text from this person my friend um, this girl that I'm messing with man uh, calls me she's doing all sorts of illegal stuff She's stolen my, Chris Nandoval has stolen my birth certificate or someone came in and stole it. But I believe she did it because she's gaslighted me three weeks ago, called the cops on me and called the crisis hotline when I'm upstairs drinking a couple, uh, like Coors or Bud Light tall boys, like two or three of them listening to my music on my cheap phone. And, you know, as part of the pro feminist thing that you can see that's going on, I mean, there's really it's it's insane it's really insanity is what it is it, on on some people's the way they view um i guess the red pill or the people that took the truth accept the truth for what it is um any anything that seems like that i would i would post this kind of stuff on facebook i got banned from facebook or Pretty much, I'm trying to remove all my accounts because, just by the way, if anyone local sees this or anyone wherever sees my name, um, and I'm not trying to put out too much information on this platform, but I'll put out the same kind of information on Facebook. Years ago, I've been doing it since I was like 16, since it began, and it's gotten worse and worse and worse and stay the same then changed up switched it up i mean very bad so i i know that i'm not reading into it too deeply i had and then they will get you to, to read into things like read in between the lines try to connect dots that aren't there that sh that were there before that you have to be very mindful man with this because look i'm, I'm looking at the inconsistencies in my accounts then but back to the facebook thing they uh, flagged me, pretended to flag someone else that was talking way, way more shit on there. I mean, getting dirty on, on Facebook. And I was posting the truth, but with a little bit more, with just some swag on it too. And he was, you know, laughing. Uh, but I wasn't. I was being serious. I was, I was laughing kind of too, but I was kind of trying to play it off. Like, you know. And then people would get on him and then, you know. For me, I'm like a ghost. Everyone, it's like almost like everyone. Um, I had one guy at a company say that he thought, you know, he was an outcast. But th then they'll do that. They'll talk about indirectly about you, um, about themselves. Um, when they, they really might be an outcast too. But they are still able to, you know, maintain and sustain what they're doing. Um, not that you're not able to mentally or physically perform the same task uh, quicker. I started to do that at a, at a few companies and I got heavily ridiculed. Um, one time a guy promised me he was going to give me a ride home. Didn't. I was stuck. I had to get a ride from someone else. And this has happened from people I thought I could trust just pulling the... I mean, you're putting your trust into someone that you've known for a while and then they just... Oh, I'm calling the cops. Oh, for what? And you're like, for what reason? You don't know how many times that that's happened where you might be be careful, be put in situations if you're with a, a crazy girl, a crazy gang stalking narc um, that will try to, and she called me and she's like, you're being so negative about me because you know narcissists are going to look at your channel because they think that they're well accomplished and that, oh, they're just in their free time. You know, once once it's convenient for them, they're going to get on your channel and, and talk about negative stuff. And now I'm just going to do the channels when I'm done with, with what I am completed with. This is going to be just like, just mainly just documentation and um, like look at the patterns, man, that people are doing. Um, okay, it's inconsistent, it's inappropriate, 
and it's really man it's it's over the top and it's it feels like it's it's scripted it is scripted out a lot of it a lot of it they're trying to like turn into you know you're being it's like you're being light you're being live streamed you're being monitored in in almost every way um i see surveillance vans mysterious cars characters and they do this color sensitization thing too with people um they used to do that more now i i don't notice it now because they don't do it they they know what to look for they know that some of the the original gang stalking stuff they used to do is kind of corny uh they, they do it now yeah with the new newer targeted people it's more like on them they're on you like it's and then when you get to that point where you're really noticing it then yeah you're gonna, you're gonna know but when they when they know that you know uh, what to look for they, then they switch it up but um, they'll pull you out of position that's what it's what it's all about and like with me pulling you or pushing you into a negative positioning in life towards your direction away it's always away from your direction uh, usually um, and that's the whole point is because that is the whole point but at times I think I think some of them are starting to think that like okay um, I, I know man with the stuff that was said in the past but um, I'm more clear headed now also but also you know I'm not on any drugs, but I'm just making that clear. Um, you know, they, they were saying I was on heroin. I mean, and they kept saying it. Oh, he's on heroin. He's on heroin. I was, I've never done heroin. Okay, ever. just want to make that clear. So that, you know, just, just for reference. Um, No, don't ever put your guard down, man. Don't ever really, I really would recommend, like, really recommend that. Like this other guy said, be, you know, don't look, it's like, don't look into everything, but I like to observe while I'm doing what I'm doing and then have my, my plan already ready with, to protect yourself. Have you, you know, have your, what whatever the hell you need to you know provide a reference point as evidence and proof um, not that it's going to be meaningful to law enforcement because law enforcement told me it wouldn't be around here they say i said what if i provide you you know proof that i that, that people are are getting on there and ter you know antagonizing my work because they think it's cute to act like a, a freaking dumbass and um so they said well depending on the circumstances and like i said in the other video i called one of them years ago this is before i knew that the cops are the crooked ones are involved with, definitely involved with it and then the higher up the chain and even lo below them is are still people that are like want to be james bond want to be snitches probably some of them are snitches that snitch on shit that's they fabricate lies and then snitch that's what they do primarily that's what the, what their profession is is to follow you around snitch and get paid to fabricate snitched lies um, that's how I've been thrown in jail several times stress center strapped down and injected with antipsychotics when I'm talking uh, as normal you know as, as I am on this camera to them um, so they, you know, I've been, I've been, uh, and then, you know, the thing with the vehicle thing is I don't have a vehicle right now. And, and like I said, with my bike, my electric bike, you saw it on my other channel. You saw seen it on my other channel. The entire reason why I have this channel and the entire reason why I named the channel, what I named it was like, Hey, you still know that this, this is who I am, even though you would know it was me anyway on a different channel. Uh, whoever would, if, but they won't let me change the channel name. 
Um, I'm trying to view viewers. They unviewed. Okay, here's another thing to mention. I had 417 views all together and not too concerned about, about any of that, but um, they unviewed it, so I screenshot it to, just to make sure. And sure enough, two views were taken away on this topic of that covers different areas of how they do and complete what they do with effectiveness with um, it's a procedural integral growing type of like it, it dude it's very noticeable okay it becomes it becomes to the point where uh, they act like they're pretending to let, want you to join their side I will never join sides with these with the with the perps man I let you know that if they ever try to recruit me I'll tell you and I will say no way I'm not, I won't participate with harming people ruining and not harming them physically but I will not ever participate with ruining someone's life uh, making sure they can't make money uh, that it's your job as a chief some chiefs some chiefs just sit back and make all the money but some chiefs are deployed out employed slash deployed chiefs uh, and underneath them minion miniatures that I in my opinion and it sounds stupid to name them that but uh, they they follow you around usually a lot of them wear highlighter jackets and get in vans um, and they make it very noticeable one had uh, you know lights like those a whole stack of them I mean like it looked like you're trying way too hard. You're trying. You're probably a fake cop, or you're a fed, or you're. I I can't. Sometimes it, they try to make it seem like they're on your side, but they're ready. They're ready to uh, throw you. You know, scoop you up as soon as soon as they if they could. They it seems like you don't know if they would. Um, and I talked to some other guy in real life that said the same thing. He said, he said sometimes I don't know if he said I'm being persecuted in my local town. I I know that. People around here are saying a couple non-credible sources, okay, are saying that I did this and I did that. They're saying things that are not true, man. They're saying things about, like, oh, you snitched, you did this and that. No, I didn't. I went to jail for everything that I ever did do wrong. And that was not very much. And that was mainly when I was a minor or just like fresh out of high school, still partying, um, went to college, dropped out, went back to jail, went to college, dropped out, went to jail, was on for three, was on bracelet for way too long, three years. My lawyer left me in jail. Oh, another time my public defender uh, said, you're getting out today. I was there for seven days. They kept me a hundred more. And, and I, I was talking, I said, sir, sir. And he turned his back on me and walked away. Public defender. I don't even remember that guy's name. I'm not too sure I'd remember. Uh, and I'm kind of think that this, well, and then this is a weird thing too. People that you knew from your past will come into your life randomly and want to hang out with you for no reason. Like they could, they could be doing anything in the world. And I had one of them ask me, they said he wrote a book on magic Okay, and he said it was interesting, but he said uh, changes magic changes your consciousness. He said, but uh, he's like d doing some. Before I know it, he's trying to do a spell on my house in the hood, and I'm like, I don't understand. And then pretty soon after, my my so called girlfriend at the time had a um, what do you call it miscarriage, and there was blood in the toilet, and I'm like, damn, like th th was that you know a connection? I mean, but um, he asked me specifically when we were hanging out, prying, again, prying. If they can't get to you um, physically, they'll get to you digitally um, and do it that way. But he asked me, um, he said, so what type of programming do you listen to? He's like, how did you break the programming? What, what, he said, what hypnosis are you under? I said, none at all. I listened... He's like, yeah, usually you are. You're under some type of programming. And and I thought when he said that, I said, well, they're trying to program me, but I broke free. I broke. I'm breaking my. 
I'm breaking away from that program. And he said, and then I thought at the same time, this guy's programmed. That's why he's asking me what program I'm on because he's so programmed that maybe, just maybe, he thinks that I'm programmed because he doesn't know why I'm, why we're looking at things differently because he can't put his finger on it. But with that, I'm going to go, man. I'm going to get out of here and try to be productive. You guys be safe, be smart, and, you know, uh, be stern, man. I noticed that. You have to be stern with them. You can't let them. They will, they will push you over and walk around you if you let them on the phone um, in real life or you're talking to them or whatever. They'll, uh, if you're a pushover or you're a nice person, they look at you as a pushover. So don't be a pushover. Um, have some swag and they'll hate you. they'll hate your swag they'll hate that you're stern but just do it anyway I, I would re recommend it. it works and uh, when they when they do attack you just say you know I'm being attacked right now um, I feel like you know you just make me just look bad or you know why you know I hurt my feelings honestly uh, have a good one bye